Right, GTK dock dependencies. So it looks like we haven't gone through this one. So we've got dock book XML 4.5. Um, oh, I didn't mark off my package. I just installed libxslt. One dot one dot three four. Okay, that's gone. So we've got that one. We've installed that one. This is the one we just installed. So we need to do ITS tool. And this one's recommended. PY pigments, I presume that's pronounced. Then for testing, we've got some packages. Oh, for test DB. Yeah, or FOP. So we'll do FOP because it's part of the um, BLFS book, whereas DB Latex, you can see it's different, slightly different blue and it's a bit more bold. And then we've got these package glib, which, and Python modules. That one's in the book, but these two aren't, so we'll take them as well. So, opened up quite a few there, so let's go to the end again. And this is LXML. So these are the, if we look at the web page, see the Python modules again. The single page with all the modules in. Um, so it says it provides binding for LibXLT, which we've installed, and LibXML2, which we've installed. Um, and obviously it requires LibXLT, recommended Python 2, which we've got as well. And then some optional to run more tests. Well, we haven't got that one's off outside of the book, so we won't install that. Valgrind, like I say, looks more like a sort of development type thing if you're testing for developing. So I'm not going to install that. And, you know, kind of because they're not being installed, it seems pointless to install this GDB. Um, it may be required by something else in the future. Uh, let's just take a quick look at it. Yeah, it's got load more dependencies anyway, so I'm not going to uh, even bother about that. So we can go ahead and just install this this module. So let's go back and find Python again. Modules, and we need to look for LXML. There it is, 4.50. Let's fetch the module. It says both the Python 2 and Python 3 models can be built and installed without any conflict. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll install both of them, even though it's I think it's only really the Python 2 one we need. We'll, we'll install both of them. And I'll make a note of that as well. So I think I'll type these in, they're fairly simple. Python to setup.py build.
how it's built, so let's do the same for Python 3 now. done so let's now do the tests so test path and two Okay, seems to have some errors for some reason. Um, not sure why that would be. All oh, right, okay, it looks like it's to do with encoding, so it's not a major problem. So I don't know if that's something we could configure, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's the um, settings I've got on this machine or not, <clears throat> but being it's only two out of the 1900 odd, 
and it's only to do with encoding I'm going to take that as a, 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 a an acceptable pass so I'm going to now run the tests for Python 3 and I expect it will probably fail in the same way unless it's a some sort of um, idiosyncrasy about Python 2 Okay, yeah, looks like it's failed in the same way as expected, so I'll accept that. So uh, now we'll install them. So it's become the root. Python 2 and same thing for Python 3 okay that's all done so I've made a note that I've installed it LXML and I've also made a note that I've installed it for Python 2 and 3 in case there is a dependency for LXML for Python 3 which there may well be Okay, so that looks like we've got the issue where, yeah, some files have been created by root and left in the source directory. So to do that, we'll just become root again and then remove the directories. Okay. So that can go. 